Happy Sunshine family! Lunacy's back here with another interesting observation. Today is Monday, September 18th, 2017. It's 3.15 p.m. out in Oregon. I was organizing my bookmarks and looking over the United States District Court Eastern District of Tennessee webpage and I noticed that there was uh, under important items, a press release. Deborah C. Poplin selected as U.S. Magistrate Judge. And when I open the PDF, get a on the U.S. District letterhead, September 13th, 2017, press release. Deborah C. Poplin selected as U.S. Magistrate Judge. Thomas A. Varlin. Chief U.S. District Judge is pleased to announce the selection of Deborah C. Poplin to the position of United States Magistrate Judge for the Eastern District of Tennessee. Ms. Poplin will begin her term of office as U.S. Magistrate Judge on February 13, 2018, upon the retirement of Chief Magistrate Judge C. Clifford Shirley, Jr. Ms. Poplin currently serves as Clerk of Court for the Eastern District having been appointed to that position on January 1st of 2012. So she's the clerk of court. The U.S. District Judges, and, and mind you, Miss Poplin is the clerk of court. So this is, this is very important because it's only the clerk of court that should have been signing Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe's warrant. And now we know that that's Ms. Poplin. Although there is some, <clears throat> there appears to be some case law that a deputy clerk can do all the same things that a clerk does, but still, I would think the deputy clerk would sign it, uh, deputy clerk signing for clerk of courts Poplin. Anyways, let's read the rest of this because it's, it's interesting. It just might not have anything to do with the case, but it's fun to file these little bits of information away. The U.S. District Judges for the Eastern District of Tennessee appointed a seven-member merit selection panel consisting of attorneys and community members to review applications, interview prospective candidates, and recommend to district judges the candidates they deemed best qualified for the position. Ms. Poplin is a graduate of the University of Tennessee and the University of Cincinnati College of Law. Upon graduation from law school in 1990, she joined the City of Knoxville Law Department and returned to the Law Department as Deputy Law Director in 2001, following two years of practice with the law firm of Richie Fells and Dillard. In 2008, then Mayor Bill Haslam appointed Miss Poplin as City Law Director, making her the first and only woman to serve in the post in the city's history. Miss Poplin served with distinction as Law Director until her appointment as Clerk of Court in 2012. As Clerk of Court, Miss Poplin works with the district judges in overseeing the administration of the district court, including oversight of a district-wide caseload of more than 2,500 civil and criminal cases and management of a staff of 42 clerk's office employees in Knoxville, Chattanooga, and Greenville. Ms. Poplin is an active member of the Knoxville Bar Association having previously served as a member of the Board of Governors and as, of, and as co chair of the Government and Public Service section. She is a graduate of the Leadership Knoxville class of 2009. United States magistrate judges <clears throat> are appointed by the U.S. District Judges of the U.S. District Court for a term of eight years and are eligible for reappointment to successive terms. The Eastern District of Tennessee is the largest federal district court in Tennessee, composed of 41 counties and serving 2.5 million people. The contact for this information is Lori Gibson and gives a phone number. 
<clears throat> so this is very interesting. We had wondered who was going to replace C. Clifford Shirley Jr. <clears throat> and we were also wondering if this was going to somehow affect or play in to Heather Antucci Giraffes and Randall K. Bean's trial. And a very observant member of the family <clears throat> left me a comment and asked me to look into magistrate judges. <clears throat> now, the authority and duties of magistrate judges is very interesting, and this, this allows me to reframe how C. Clifford Shirley Jr. Uh, fills his role as far as this case goes. <clears throat> Magistrate judges may be authorized to handle virtually any civil or criminal matter before the court other than presiding at felony trials. Other than presiding at felony trials. So these are felony trials that Heather Antucci Giraffe and Randy Bean are facing. So C. Clifford Shirley Jr. was never going to be presiding over the trial. So why, why are they up in front of them? Well, let's find out what magistrate judges are doing. Generally speaking, they may handle dispositive matters <clears throat> in civil and criminal cases by their own order and dispositive matters by their own, own order with party consent and district judge approval or otherwise by memorandum and recommendation to the presiding district judge. Now this presiding district judge is Thomas A. Varlin. And we can see here that it's Thomas A. Varlin, chief U.S. district judge, is the one who is announcing the selection of Deborah C. Poplin. Dispositive and non-dispositive. Uh, if something has a disposition, as far as a legal matter goes, it means that, hey, we have taken this to its end, and this is how we dispose of the case. Sometimes it means a dismissal. Sometimes it means uh, an acquittal. Sometimes it means a conviction. However, this case uh, is disposed of, that's what we're talking about when we use the words non-dispositive and dispositive matters. So a non-dispositive matter means, hey, there's some facet of this case that doesn't deal with whether or not this case stays in this courtroom or not. There's some other matter. It's non-dispositive. And so a magistrate judge on his own accord can handle non-dispositive matters. If there's a matter that is dispositive, meaning, hey, this, if I make this decision here, that means that this case is, is finished in this court somehow, some way. And in order for C. Clifford Shirley Jr. to do that, he has to have the district judge's approval or Thomas A. Varlin's approval. So that's a really important distinction and a point to keep in mind as we go forward. C. Clifford Shirley Jr. has limited power and he is acting under the direct supervision of Thomas A. Varlin. That's how I read this. So in civil cases in this district, magistrate judges routinely handle a full range of pretrial matters including discovery motions, general pretrial case management, scheduling orders, settlement conferences, dismissal and summary judgment motions, and file pretrial conferences. They handle all proceedings in consent civil actions, including trial and entry of judgment, consent social security appeals, and any other consent civil cases, all with the right of appeal to the Fourth Circuit. In felony cases, in this district, magistrate judges also routinely handle a broad range of pretrial matters, including review of criminal complaints, issuance of search warrants, grand jury selection, initial appearances, detention hearings, arraignments, scheduling orders, and suppression motion hearings, 
and such post-trial matters as hearings on habeas corpus motions and international prisoner transfers. In addition, they generally handle all proceedings and misdemeanor cases before them, including trial and sentencing. Magistrate judges participate in court management by, among other means, serving on court committees and preside at naturalization and other court-related ceremonies. So this was from the Eastern District of North Carolina of the United States District Court. I couldn't find the authorities and duties of magistrate judge on the Tennessee page. Uh, I am working under the idea that the United States District Court is going to have similar duties for its magistrate judges uh, no matter which district they're in. I don't know if that's a, a correct idea or not. But what we've got going on here is that C. Clifford Shirley Jr. was never going to be the trial judge. So we need to keep in mind that it's Thomas A. Varlin. Uh, I don't know anything about him. I haven't looked into him at all yet. But thank you very much for that very observant comment that helps us delineate uh, what's going on here and what could possibly happen uh, when Heather goes in for uh, subsequent hearings in front of C. Clifford Shirley Jr. It's basically administrative uh, hearings. Okay, thank you so much for all of the emails, all of the love, light, and links that you're sending, especially in reference to, to DARPA Dad. I feel so loved and so supported. Uh, I didn't expect to feel that way. And as I am discovering who I am with, with my own flesh and blood family, it's, uh, it's a blessing to have such a loving group of people uh, with the Lunacy family. And, and thank you very, 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 very much. I appreciate that. We'll be back really soon with, with some more videos. I love you guys. Peace out.